Hello, I'm Dr. Eileen Cashman, Department Chair for Environmental Resources Engineering at HSU. Our engineering program is one of the largest, oldest, and most respected undergraduate environmental engineering programs in the country. Our unique curriculum combines traditional environmental engineering with applications such as aquatic restoration and renewable energy technologies. The Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Resources Engineering is a rigorous degree with required math, science, and engineering courses, as well as electives in water resources, water quality, and energy resources. Although we have created a four-year major plan, it is more reasonable to expect to spend five years to complete this degree. You will not regret the hard work and energy invested in your education, as you will leave HSU prepared to be a leader in efforts to sustain, restore, and protect our natural resources and the environment. You want to plan a schedule each semester that combines courses in the engineering major with general education courses. Here are my recommendations for courses for the fall semester of your freshman year. Take Math 115, 109, 110, or 210, whichever math class you are eligible for based on your math test score or high school AP credit. The engineering program requires you complete three semesters of calculus. Each semester that you are not in a required math class is an additional semester you will spend in school. If you require math remediation, you will need to complete that coursework prior to starting the engineering major. I strongly recommend that you sign up for our Introduction to Environmental Resources Engineering course, Engineering 115. This course is a required major class specifically aimed at our first year students and it's a prerequisite for all other engineering courses. That means you must take this course before you can take any other engineering course. You must be co-enrolled in Math 115 or higher to be eligible to take Engineering 115. Engineering 280 is a one-unit freshman seminar that you are also encouraged to take. The focus of this seminar is to introduce you to the engineering student community and to support your success in our program. This is a course you will want to take concurrently with Math 115 and Engineering 115. If you don't need English remediation, then we recommend that you take English 100. If there's no room in English 100, then you can take COM 100 instead. English 100 and COM 100 count towards your lower division general education areas A1 and A2. As an engineering major, you do not need to take an A3 course as that gen ed requirement is met by our major. Do not sign up for Philosophy 100 logic. To round out your schedule, you can take either a lower division general ed area C, Arts and Humanities, and or a lower division general ed area D social sciences. Here you have choices. You can review your list of general education courses and then check the online class schedule to see which courses are offered, when and whether they have open seats. I recommend that you try to take a lower division general education area D course that also meets your American institutions requirement, History 110 or Poli Sci 110. Engineering majors are able to double count both institutions requirements for lower division area D. Congratulations on your admission to HSU. We look forward to getting to know you within the engineering department. Once classes have started, we invite you to come by our department office in Harry Griffith Hall to meet your program advisor and other department staff and faculty. Be sure to stop by the coffee table in Science D to meet other engineering students.